Hi YouTube, today I'm going to open the Beretta 92A1 CO2 powered air gun. Here is what it looks like. Just front of the box and back of the box. Okay, so now let's open it. So everything included in the package is the owner's manual, some other pieces of paper, an Allen wrench, and the Beretta. First, take the Beretta out of the bag. And from taking out of the bag already, it looks pretty cool. It, look, it does look like a real Beretta. Um, and the magazine is inside of it. So here's everything on the gun. The front sight, the muzzle, the slide, the trigger, the slide catch lever, the rear sight, the hammer, the magazine release, and then on the magazine, well here's the magazine, here's the loading port, here is the BB follower, here's the follower catch, right here, and then we have the piercing screw. In here we have the CO2 compartment. Oh, and I forgot some other stuff on the gun. We also have the safety right here. When it's down, it's on safe. Up, it's on fire. And then on this side, um, we have the fire selectors. So this lever right here, it's really small, but when it's down next to the one dot, it's on semi-automatic, and up, it's on fully automatic. So, that's basically everything the gun has on it. And I'm pretty excited with this gun because this is the first fully automatic gas blowback BB gun I've had. Um, what I found is pretty cool on the gun is it has a double action trigger. And what the difference between a single action trigger and a double action trigger, a single action trigger will only shoot if the hammer is cocked back. So if the hammer is not cocked, it will, so a single action trigger, you need the hammer cocked back to shoot. This also has a double action trigger, so you do not need the hammer cocked back to shoot. You can have it like this, and um, while you're pulling it back, it'll actually be pulling back the hammer too. And then you can shoot. So it's got single action, and double action, which I find pretty cool. Then it just has Simple iron sights with the white dots. Whenever you run out of ammo, your slide blocks back. You take your mag out, reload it, put it in. And the wrong way to do it is when you just pu push the slide lever down. Like that, that's the wrong way to do it. The reason this is the wrong way is because inside here, when it, when it locks back, the slide lever has this piece sticking up. Um, and it, it sticks inside a lever on the slide, and the more you push it down, the more it scratches up the slide. And if you do it too much, like a lot, um, it'll eventually be scratched up too much and the slide won't lock back and it'll break your gun. The proper way to do it is you pull it back, then push it down, then let go. It's the right way to do it. To load the CO2 in the magazine, you just unscrew this piercing screw with the Allen wrench. You'd put your CO2 in there, and then you would just screw this piercing screw back on. That's how you would load the CO2. There's actually two ways to load the BBs. You could either push the BB follower down and load BBs in here, or you could push it down all the way, where if you pushed it down enough, it would, if you, I can't do it right now because it, it takes hard, it's hard, but if you pushed it down enough, the front of the follower um, would catch on here, and then you could just pour BBs in on this hole. But although it's kind of hard to do unless you got long fingernails, I would just push it down and load BBs on the front. So that's what I would do. And then you just put it in the bag and then fire. Whenever it's on safety, you actually can pull the trigger. And then this piece here will still move and stuff, but it won't do anything. And then whenever you push it up, that will fire, that's on fire. Okay, so now I'm gonna show how to load the gas inside the magazine. 
Just take your Allen wrench, unscrew the piercing screw, then take a 12 gram CO2 can, put it in here, put the piercing screw back on, screw the piercing screw back in. Okay, so once you hear that on most CO2 guns, you hear that tiny bit of gas inside of it that just leaks and then you tighten it more and it stops. So now there's no ammo in it and it's on semi. I'm just gonna make sure it's working. Okay, it is working. So next, to load the BBs in, I'm just gonna get some BBs. I'm not sure the exact amount the magazine holds. So you just push the BB follower down and put the BBs in. I'm gonna try to get the follower down to catch. Okay, so the follower, I got it on the catch here. That's what I was talking about earlier. If you pull it down enough, you can get it on the catch and just pour BBs in from this little hole. So then to just put the follower back up, you just do that and now it's loaded. So put my goggles down. First, I'm gonna shoot it semi-automatic. Okay, now I'm gonna put the mag in. It's on fire, ready to shoot. Okay, got it fully loaded. I put as many BBs as I could in there. I'm not sure how many there are. Okay, so we're gonna do fully automatic and let's see how fast this shoots. Uh, it's on fire now. Whoa, that was crazy. That, that, the, the crazy thing wasn't the gun. It was, it was, it was just kicking so fast against my hand. It was like, <laughs> yeah. When you do a semi blowback, it's not a big deal because you, you just know when you're gonna shoot. I had no idea that was gonna happen. It was just going crazy. I wanna shoot that again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my first shot, my first BB, just semi, and then I'm gonna flip the switch up and do the rest of the BBs full auto. So first record my semi shot. Okay, now I'm gonna do full auto. That was crazy. That was awesome. Okay, so overall, I think this gun is pretty cool. The full auto is really awesome, and it has a really big kick. Um, it's a cool full auto gas blowback pistol, and that's the end of the video. So bye YouTube, thanks for watching, please subscribe. Peace out.